Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul of Watchmen on the Wall in Northern California, still standing, still praising Jesus, still loving Jesus. It's 1 8. Is it really? Today's January 8, 11.05 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I want to come on here and tell you I'm still standing. I'm in heavy prayer. And I'm still focusing on Jesus and the truth. Leading people to Jesus and telling the truth. There's been a spiritual attack a demonic dark uprising since the what happened at the Capitol which was prophesied by the way I know I know that some people are encouraging me on that and other people are discouraging me and calling me a liar and stuff but the entire prophecy when I uploaded the video well th this is what's silly about some Christians because I'm gonna show you some more things I'm not gonna leave you hanging I'm not going to have you wondering what I'm thinking or anything. I'm still standing in the full armor of God here. And I'm sharing you what he has shown me. And I've decided I am not going to back down. I am not going to back down. It's not just the voice I'm hearing this morning. It's the presence. It's the presence of the Holy Spirit. It's my seeking the Holy Spirit. It's a whole process of communing with God, just like the Bible says we can. And there may be people that they don't know how to commune with God, but all I've done is try to teach you how to, how to draw closer to God. This channel has been trying to teach people to draw closer to Jesus. You're running out of time for years and years now. It's built on the truth and it's still standing on the truth. Let me, let, let me bring you up to date. I just had to get that off my chest. We ain't going nowhere. Still standing in the grace and mercy of Jesus Christ and his truth. This morning I woke up. And I was getting ready to put both my feet on the ground. And the last time I had done this. I heard spirit of Ophir. Spirit of Ophir. Spirit of Ophir arise. The next thing I heard was biblical earthquake I heard biblical earthquake not spiritual I want to correct that I didn't hear spiritual earthquake I have heard in the past I have a message on prepare for spiritual bombardment but I think that's been going on for a long time I heard biblical earthquake and so what the this morning when I rose and put both on my ground I said so what it is it we need to know today Jesus and this is what I heard exactly three times. Spirit of Antichrist, Spirit of Antichrist, Spirit of Antichrist, rise. It was exactly like he said about the spirit of Ophir. It was the same voice. It was the same feeling. It was God Almighty. This time he said Spirit of Antichrist. So as an update, what the Holy Spirit is showing me, I'm going to tell you, is an earthquake is coming to a biblical area that's going to have something to do with Ophir. So from everything I've studied and stuff, and I could be wrong on this. I'm telling you, I could be wrong on this because I'm still studying. But I want to give an update. I want to give an update on this that I believe a large earthquake is coming to the Philippines. And that this is related to the word I got on Spirit of Ophir. I truly believe that we should be in prayer over a large quake that's coming. I believe it's going to be the Philippines, but wherever it is, it's going to be able to be tied in to something biblical very easily. God's not going to leave us hanging. So the last earthquake to hit right here was a 5.1 in Tonga. And the last registered earthquake right here is 18. 54 hours UTC 11 minutes ago and here it's 1109 911 backwards 1109 a.m. Pacific Standard Time so at this point it is not hit yet 
let me uh and so mark my words carefully and listen to what i say and don't put words in my mouth in 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 regards to trump something is going on right now that is way above my pay grade you see this this minute this minister right here was shown that obama was the antichrist and a major door has just opened for obama to get back to working with the government of the united states of america with israel as some type of ambassador type position or directly for the united nations and trump is not finished i'm telling you trump the message i got on trump is not finished but he has fulfilled many many prophecies i was given he's not finished he his name is on the peace coin Let, let's not lose let's not lose fact of these facts or sight of these facts his name is on the Abraham Accord peace coins. He's going to still be dealing with Israel. He's still, the Lord is showing me, he's still speaking with Netanyahu. And they have something planned. All eyes should be on Israel right now and not on Washington, D.C. I'm just telling you, a biblical earthquake is coming. The, the, the Antichrist is rising. And I'm asking you to believe in God. I'm asking you to believe in God. To not lose faith in God. I'm coming on here strongly saying, no matter what I said or what you think I said, it's 11-11. And I just keep doing this on 1-8-2021. Don't lose your faith in God over no man. I point you to the cross and the mercy and grace of Jesus Christ. And I give all, him all the glory, always. So, I am not, here. here's the thing. Let, let me just be in full disclosure on this. I was shown that Obama was the Antichrist back in like 2008. I'm not kidding, back in like 2008. And see how these earthquakes are coming down closer to the Antarctic? Just like I was shown with South Sandwich Islands. Wow. I think the earthquake could even, even be north of these little Filipino islands right here. And I keep getting the word Tagalog, Tagalog. That, I remember it being called Tagalog. Were when they they spoke like a certain dialect of Tagalog. I had met somebody there when I was in the Philippines in the Navy um, that was teaching me some of the words. And it has popped up like three times in my research on this offer. But I could be way off base on this. Again, I'm not completely finished uh, with my study of offer. And thank you for all the information I'm receiving worldwide worldwide info coming on on this offer i'm telling you i heard that saints i can't sit here and tell you to trust me because i have never at any point seen biden sitting in office running america god has not shown me that at all and it appears like that's exactly what's going to happen which I would find, I'm just full disclosure here, my my friends and family here. Forget the haters, forget the enemies. I want to talk to my friends and family on here. It's been years. Why didn't God show me? Why didn't God show me Biden back in office? If I'm a, the West, a, West, a West Coast watchman, and I know he appointed me on the wall, there's just no doubt on that. Why didn't he show me that one major thing? And I keep coming back to Trump, Obama, and Israel. And perhaps a lady is going to be standing. The, the VP is going to become president. I'm not even going to speculate on this. I'm telling you, I'm taking my eyes off politics. Because I wasn't shown. I was shown Trump staying in office 
and it's really tearing at my heart because I feel like the, this very ministry is on the line. And I, all I've done is really point people to Jesus. I guess I should just hit the end of the video because this is a battle I'm going through right now. Why didn't why didn't Jesus show me uh, Biden in office? Because, I mean, forget about the accusations that come here and say, like for one I read today said, nothing you have ever said is, is ever edifying. Someone commented that. But I know that's a lie. Do you know how many, I mean, let's call out lies. Those are lies bearing false witness against the messenger of God with no fear of God before your eyes. I'm calling you out. You need to repent. Many hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people have been edified. You, you don't have to go any further than just looking at this channel. The hundreds of emails and hundreds of texts and, and hundreds of uh, comments uh, about people being drawn to back to Jesus and returning to Jesus and just last service last weekend, someone accepting Christ. So why should I receive a railing false accusation of someone coming against me and saying that nothing you say is ever edifying? Why should I believe a lie? Just like hallelujah, I feel the Holy Spirit right here, right now. Just like the entire media is just spreading this one big, huge lie right now. I'm going to be honest with you. It's a lie that Biden won. There was, there was huge election fraud, and there's huge corruption, and China's involved, and I was shown a war with Iran, all of these things are coming to pass. All of them. Don't tell me nothing's coming to pass. And do your, you know, you're a false prophet and God doesn't love you type thing. Oh, yes, he does love me. And see, one thing I am fully mature in is to be able to rise above the enemy's accusations and say, yes, Jesus loves me. Not because of what I prophesy, but because of what he did on the cross. He loved me before I even... Uh, sinned the very first time he was willing to die for me. And he was willing to die for you. We got to take our mouths off other people and, and, and put our praise on Jesus. Why do people want, it's like they're just waiting to see. They'll be back on the 20th too. I know they'll be back on the 20th to call me false prophet. But the prophecy coming out of this channel is true. And people are being led to the Lord. And you want to stand in the middle of being people led to the Lord and recommitting their life to Jesus Christ? Then I tell you, he is not with me, is against me. And he who does not gather with me scatters the people. So you are a scatterer. A scatterer of the children of Jesus Christ. Are you okay to stand in that darkness and not be delivered from it? Are you going to go down like that? Is this the end of your calling? Is this to go call everybody false prophets and, and say they never edify and never encourage and become a stumbling block to the people that I am reaching on this channel? Is that your calling? Well, you didn't get that calling from God. Jesus Christ rebuked you for the, this demonic attack of trying to get me to quit my ministry. That's why I said the other day, this could be my final prophecy. Is because of what people are saying. I welcome you to, to just encourage each other. It's not over. It's like people have just stopped and said, well, it looks like Trump is out of office. So like, so like the Bible just stops. So like there is no more, there's no more Antichrist and there's no more rapture. And Jesus isn't coming and there isn't all these biblical birth things and the world isn't spinning out of control and chaos. I warned chaos would happen. I even showed you the very eight star symbol on the wall inside the building where the woman was shot by uh, Capitol Police. Killed. Dead. Right underneath that same exact star I was showing you. And people say, you've seen nothing. They prophesy and say they've seen things and you've seen nothing. I've seen a lot of things. I saw this attack before it even came. And now I'm telling you, it's not over with yet. Trump is not finished. Go ahead and get mad. The Bible is not finished. Jesus is not finished. Matter of fact, I hear the Holy Spirit saying right now, it has just begun. 
Don't lose faith. Don't lose heart. Keep focused on me. I love you. I'm working my way back to you. Fulfilling prophecy rapidly so that I may return to you. So do not despair. Do not despair, says the Spirit of the Lord. Be not in despair. Neither shall ye be worried or burdened. For what I have sworn in my wrath shall come quickly, says the Spirit of the Lord. We love you all. We're still standing and uh, we're still going to sit on here and declare the truth. As for YouTube, I don't know what to say about YouTube. Uh, it appears that China is about ready to run the United States fully. Tell us what we can say or not say. I mean, the pre they've shut the president's Twitter account. Well, I don't, I don't want to turn this into a rant. I just wanted to come in here and put something up. Something up that, that the followers of this channel and those who have been supportive and encouraging in this church uh, that really know that Jesus Christ is being preached on this channel and his love, mercy, and salvation and reconciliation to God, that that is being preached on this channel and that no lies would be able to stand against that fact. And I just noticed something. Look, I'm going to say one more thing. Remember when I was talking about the Maldives like three times? Because there's, there's a lot more coming to pass than I'm telling you about. I could literally make a two hour long video right now showing you things that I prophesied that came to pass. That is why I won't stop listening to this Holy Spirit of God. If I misinterpreted something, that's on me. It's certainly not on God and his prophecy. I was shown Obama's Antichrist. I was shown I was shown that Trump that golden coins, these are things I've shown that people please bear witness of this. Let's begin to take a stand and bear witness against these lies. I was shown that golden coins would fall on Trump. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit just reminded me of something beautiful and amazing. He's so good to us. Thank you. I was shown that, that golden coins fell on Trump at this podium when he was given a speech. Well, the stock market is at an all-time high right now. This is fulfilled. And then what happened after the coins fell on him? The American flag fell on Donald Trump. This is a, this is called the Donald Trump coin prophecy. And now they have a peace accord. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm going to keep on continuing. That you're not going to quench the Holy Spirit of God. It's called the Trump gold coin prophecy. I'll just put in Trump coin right here. Here's an earlier vision, which is for those saying that nothing but lies are coming out of this. Prophetic vision, Donald Trump, American flag. So this is the original. Hi, my hun. This is the original from August 17th, 2016. Hi, my hun. What time do you want to go over there? Okay, I want to go. I want to get it dead so I can be back. Hold on. So let me, uh, this is my wife, Gail Maxson. Good morning, everyone. Are we still standing by her? We're still standing. Are we lovers of Jesus Christ? Do we want to obey his word? Yeah. Do we want to tell other people about him? Yes. Do we want to have some lunch today? Yes. So I'm about ready to show a couple of things. Listen to this. So this is actually from 2016. I'm going to go ahead and play. You could go ahead and get mad all that or thumb it down, whatever you got to do. No. No, don't thumb it down. Whatever you got to do, just do. But just Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is Minister Paul, a watchman on the wall in Northern California. Today is 8-17-16 on Wednesday. It's been a while since I made a video. I want to put this information out there and see if others know what the meaning is. I was asking the Lord to allow me to see with prophetic eyes and ears uh, into the like what the the future held for me because He's been real quiet in my life, and 
I haven't asked him really to show me anything at all. I haven't. There's so much, uh, you know, schism and arguments and debates going on on YouTube that I've literally... Four years later, still preaching the same stuff. Division and schism on YouTube by people claiming to be Christian. But you're not Christian. You have, you have names like Zechariah and things like that. But you, you have nothing to do with the Bible. No, no, no no friendly words of love or peace or joy or the fruit of the Holy Spirit come out of your mouth at all. You have no fruit. You're devoid of Holy Spirit coming against a Holy Spirit-filled prophetic ministry. You need to go ask the people who tried to attack me last time. Their channels don't even exist anymore. I don't even know if they're alive anymore. I'm not playing games here. You need to listen. You do not come against God's anointing. But anyway, I don't want to get, I don't even have to say all that stuff because I've already seen what happens to others. And all these people, well, I don't want to rant. But I, hear me out. I asked Jesus, Jesus, not the devil, who can, uh, who can behave as a minister of light. I asked Jesus while serving Jesus. What was going to happen with Trump in the future in 2016? And this is what he said. The same one that told me, rise, spirit of Ophir. The same one that says, the Antichrist spirit, rise. The same one said that there's going to be an earthquake in the Philippines here. Uh, a biblical earthquake. And a, and a, what was it? The, a spiritual bombardment. And I don't, I'm, and this is what he said just withdraw myself from it and it's sad because you know it ought not to be like that we're all supposed to be brothers and sisters in Christ but this is how Jesus said it would be and so it is what it is but last night after asking that question the Lord showed me something and I must be obedient and share it and I'm interested in getting some feedback and, and prayer on this please so I said Lord you know let me see what, what the future holds for this world through prophetic eyes as a watchman. And this is what he's shown me. Donald Trump was about ready to give a speech. And it was, it was at the election time. It's like something had happened or something had won. This was a special event to announce uh, who was going to run or continue to run the United States of America. Wow. And, and Donald Trump was about ready to give this speech. I don't know if it was like an acceptance speech or, uh, you know, announcing him as winner speech or, you know, stepping down or a concession speech. I wasn't allowed to know that information. But he was standing there in this official podium ready to make an announcement uh, just prior to or, or at the elections. And the United States flag fell down, as you see in this picture right here. It fell down and it completely covered him. To where all you seen was the American flag at the podium. And then all these gold coins, these gold coins began to, to fall down and rain on him. It literally began raining gold coins on the flag. Hey, I just thought that truck was covered in. Oh my gosh. Oh, Holy Spirit. Hello? The Lord just shooting up on so. Shut it up on so. Shut it up on so. Shut it up on so. Yet at a bosso. Condor de bossi. Condor de bossandor de bocchi ceremony. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, the Holy Spirit is here, saints, he's here. Not she, he is here. The Lord just told me this prophecy is fulfilled. Listen, the Trumps, uh, the coins falling on uh, Donald Trump being gold, is tied in to the spirit of Ophir 
and spirit of Antichrist rising. And I, I, I have to just be very careful with what I say under this attack. But, and the Holy Spirit has just flooded me. I still believe and still stand by the fact that Obama is involved in all this and is about ready to make a major return to the, the scene. They've all been hiding. The Clintons, Obama, they, uh, Joe Biden, it has, I mean, just figure it out, Saints. It is basically, they've all been hiding. They've been hiding the gold. They have a love for money. The spirit of mammon. And so, the gold coins is just another tie-in to the spirit of Ophir. With with uh, Solomon received 666 gold talents. Let's continue this. And then with the, the flag falling on him represents January 6th when blood was drawn on both sides at that capital. And they want to bring order out of chaos it, the chaos was already on all those eight-pointed stars inside their own building. Uh, it's been revealed to be that some of them refer to that White House, and that capital, as a temple. A temple. I'm going to show you how the Lord confirmed that. So basically, America, as we know it, just died. The Republicans, the Democrats, the the GOP, it's all just in one big, huge tailspin. But they want to sell you the appearance that it's not. Order out of chaos. Please listen. This is fulfilled. And that was the end of the vision. This morning I've been in prayer and in prayer, I honestly don't know. I don't know the meaning of the vision other than I'm to share it with, with others and see if, if the Lord may reveal to you. And so what I did was I just simply put in Donald Trump gold coins and I actually found out that there's a Trump dollar in 2016. Have you seen this? And then I also, uh, I also Google Earth Donald Trump and it, the Trump Tower in New York is this. 725 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. And I dropped down right in front of it on Google Earth. And I couldn't help but notice the clock was at 10, 10 18. 18. 10, 18. And that felt significant. Watchmen on the wall, standing tall, sharing their... Sharing what, what uh, has been revealed to me. And asking you for your comments and... We'll see how this goes and, you know, whether the Lord wants me to continue and, and these warnings or not. I've just been, been real quiet and listening more than talking. We love you all. God bless you all. Wow. I mean, I have the Holy Spirit all over me. So if you're, if you're wondering what I've been saying about Trump, it's coming to pass. When it came to him staying in office, I believe I said, I believe he will stay in office. But this right here gives an exact breakdown of what I prophesied. This is prophetic, prophetic vision, not my thoughts, not my feelings, not my opinions. This is something I sought out knowledge for from Jesus and received the knowledge and it came 100% to pass. And I'm looking at 725 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York. I'm just going to go ahead and run this video a little longer than I planned because I still got another. I still have one more video I want to show you, just a short part of it. So maybe this will run 40 minutes. I don't know. I was at 725 Fifth Avenue. Tell you what, I am going to be more cautious in uh, my interpretations of the things I'm showing. I'm telling you, we all have to learn. 725. 
Fifth Avenue, New York. And be encouraged. Jesus ain't never like me. Don't go get so caught up in people. So this is Trump Tower down here. Get caught up in Jesus. Get caught up by Jesus. Amen. Let me try something. Oh, you know what's going to come up? I don't even have to tell you what's going to come up. It's going to be that Cleopatra needle. Obelisk. I still believe the fallen angels are using that. That's one thing. I'm just going to put an obelisk. I believe that the fallen angels are using this technology in our government. Matter of fact, last night I asked the Lord. It's right here. I mean, I know exactly where it is. It's Cleopatra's needle. I think it's Cleopatra's needle. It's one of these. Does it say Cleopatra's needle? Maybe that one is. I'm not sure. Let's go down and look at it. This is in Central Park. And you know, another thing still on the back burner of my prayers is all these explosions. No one's really talking about the explosions. That happened in Nashville. I mean, that was a pretty, that was a major explosion with warnings. And they just brushed that under the rug. Didn't they? Look at that. It's interesting. See this purplish sun artifact thing? Looks like it's almost watching over the area. So then you come over here and go 195, 195, Fulton, which was Fulton County, Georgia. 195 Fulton Avenue. It's Manhattan. This is the building. I mean, I know all. One thing I know is I know all this by heart now. I don't have to go searching. I know that this is the building that has an obelisk. And, watch this. It has an obelisk and that star on it. So is it down here? So, on this side, is this the right block? Yep. So, there's the obelisk. And look at this building. See how on, this is a perfect site on this. This building has two different addresses. It's Broadway. See this right here? And it's Fulton. So, one way is Broadway and one way is Fulton. And they both have these, I've shown this building many, many times. They both have this eight-pointed star. It's like, this is what the Holy Spirit showed me yesterday. I, I just be honest with you, I've shared everything. He showed me the left and the right. In other words, the House and the Senate and the, and the eight-pointed star. And then all of these obelisks, they just get bigger and bigger. That American people have built as these towers of Babel up to God. All of them. I mean, look at them. They don't impress God. So if you go to my community wall, if you go to my community wall, pray, you will see that I put it on here. Right here. Here is that exact eight-pointed star, but most people are cutting it off and cropping it. This is where the blood was drawn between the capital and, uh, oh, another thing. At the, the female veteran of 14 years, how many times did we mention 14, 14, 
but just two days before she was saw, I made a warning and I said, San Diego, something to do with the military in San Diego. She lives, in, I mean, I'm telling you the truth on all of this stuff and I'm pointing you to Jesus. The end of all things is at hand. She was from San Diego and had spent 14 years in the military. So this is where they fired the shot and here's, here's the, the chaos symbol. I mean, it's clear as day. See as up here? It's the same one prophesied. It's the same one on these. And I've been talking about obelisks and stuff. It's, it's the same exact one on this building. On both sides. House and Senate. It's like when I showed the House and the Senate. And I went, and I went in to zoom in closer. And I ended up underground in the Third Street Tunnel. And I said they will go underground, and then the news reported they will go underground. Don't let people forget these things. That only God could know that information. Only God could know that information. We could interpret it wrong, or the devil could get information. I'll tell you, the devil don't lead people to Jesus. Only people who aren't serving Jesus don't know that. The devil is not leading anybody to Jesus. Are you kidding me? You give him way too much credit. This looks like another one on, look at this. No way. I'm just going to continue. Could be an hour long video. This is interesting that I just saw this because I've been talking about Obama. I've been talking about Trump. And now I keep hearing about Italy, something that happened in Italy. What? What is it that happened in Italy? Because here's all three keywords. Obama, Trump, and Italy. And they're sitting in, looks like to be the White House. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Paul, the Holy Spirit gave me to sound this alarm. Watchman warning, take heed. Trump's eight days prepare for the violence, not peace. I said it will happen. And this is playing out. This is this is May twenty third, two thousand seventeen. Playing out. Um, let me, I'm sure you've all heard of this, but I kind of want to put this together in a package for you, so you can easily understand. Was there an explosion in Italy? So Ter we all saw the Manchester uh, terror at the arena. I guess the death toll is now twenty two. Is that correct? There's something off about this. You know, when, when I first saw this uh, picture with this woman, pictures were took, to just ref reference the article and you'll see. So they're sitting here. So coincidence that yet another president insists on meeting the false prophet, Pope, oh. and that Obama, who everybody's been watching and warning about, is also in Italy too on the same day he's there right now. On the same day that Trump's there. Are you ready to go about her? And and there's more uh, Let's get to ready this to that go. cannot be a coincidence. I'm this show is you. just all way too much. I feel how about her? I feel uh do you want to help me say something? I feel kinda of silly like I've defended prophecy that came one hundred percent true. When every other channel I go around and look at their prophecies aren't coming true. They make fake fake rapture date after fake rapture date and get worship. I come on here and they all come to pass. And uh, and I'm called false prophet. That God isn't pleased with me and stuff. But this stuff's coming to pass. Well, how I just ended the video. Are you making a video now? Yeah. How I just how I just ended this video is how I started. This happens every single time I yield to the Holy Spirit. So here's the message. I'm not going to stop yielding to the Holy Spirit. I'm not going to stop prophesying. I'm not going to stop leading people to Jesus yes. Christ. I'm going to ignore you. Amen. I'm, I'm going to ignore you. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit to put a hedge of fire between deception, darkness, and sin and myself. 
And that includes the people living in sin that want to continue in sin and want to continue to come against men of God who are trying to lead people to Jesus Christ, who continually show you over and over again miracles, signs, and wonders of his soon return lining up with Bible prophecy. No, I will not quit. Matter of fact, I'll see you again soon. God bless you. Sunday border. We're having a positive, encouraging word at 11 a.m. Sunday, 11.10. On, uh, it's time to lift up our voice. It's time to lift up our sword. And we're going to be encouraged and refreshed. Amen.